You've got to dare to back business. Because it's business that changes the world, actually, not politicians. Chambers of Commerce have really grown up. Um, they were formed by local businesses for local businesses. So local businesses feed into the national umbrella organisation in a number of ways. First of all, on the ground, they create connections, business connections between people, but they also listen to what the needs of the local business community and the local communities are. Cornwall's small businesses need to collaborate on occasions in order to achieve the best things globally that they can do. And the Chamber of Commerce really encourages that sort of collaboration that I think people naturally in Cornwall do want to do. So I believe that these events that bring people together uh, are really essential part of what the Chamber of Commerce does for this big landscape we have of small businesses in Cornwall. I go around the country looking at um, these types of events and I have to say that you know the energy, the drive, the enthusiasm that your businesses have here and the willingness to engage with one another and do business with one another is absolutely fantastic. I wish you could bottle that energy and take it elsewhere in the country, we'd get more done. Now that the Cornwall Chamber of Commerce is an accredited chamber, we're a, we're a me member of the British Chambers of Commerce who have links in 41 overseas markets. So I really feel that these global micros, which we're getting to see emerge in Cornwall now, have access to this really global market. And we, we as the Chamber of Commerce network uh, can really help that. Well, my job is to promote uh, business between Britain and China. I feel it's more internationalised now, so I hope that there'll be more business relations between China and the Cornwall.